If you are wondering how to write professional Amazon product review articles, you have landed on the best video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I wrote this Gadgia Classic Pro review by reverse engineering the process and showing you the best way to write Amazon product review articles. Hi there, my name is Ivan and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've been doing affiliate marketing professionally over the last five years and most of my income comes from product reviews. Uh, by the way, make sure to like this video to support the content and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. And if you're looking for the best way to get started with Amazon affiliate marketing, if you would like to learn every step of the process and how to make money by uh, writing Amazon product review articles, uh, make sure also to subscribe for my free affiliate marketing business training by clicking the link in the description of the video. As I said, I've been doing this for the last five years and counting and with this free training, I can teach you every single thing that I know about writing Amazon product reviews articles and making money online with Amazon affiliate marketing. So make sure to check out my free training as well. And with that being said, let's dive into this video. As I said in the introduction, I'm going to show you, I'm going to basically reverse engineer this Gadgia Classic Pro Review article to show you the exact step-by-step -step process that I use to write product reviews for my affiliate websites. So the first step in the entire process after choosing your niche is finding the product that you want to review uh, from Amazon. Uh, as I said, I decided to go with this Gadgia Classic Pro Espresso Machine. By the way, if you are looking to purchase an espresso machine for your home or your office, uh, this is one of the best prosumer espresso machines that you can find on the market and it's my uh, ultimate recommendation as well and I'm going to show you how I'm going to review it, how I actually reviewed it on my website here uh, but I'm going to start from scratch and reverse engineer the entire process. So once you have a product that you want to review, the next step is head over to your WordPress website uh, and uh, create a new post or a page depending on how you publish your content. Uh, in this case, I have created, I think, a new post. And the first step after creating a new post is of course uh, creating a title. As you can see, I have already did a couple of steps uh, for this video just to speed up the entire process so you don't have to waste time looking at me typing uh, things in WordPress. Uh, so basically what I did, I added the title and I always added the product name plus review. So basically this is a long tail keyword that I want to target and I always included at the beginning of the title so that Google and other search engine can understand uh, what my content is about and uh, uh, rank it accordingly. Then I would add a hyphen and I would add a little bit more text to make it more interesting. And in this case, I added still good or a dying relic because uh, Gadget Classic Pro is one of the oldest uh, prosumer espresso machines and a lot of people are actually wondering, is it still good? Uh, so basically I beautified that title uh, and I added still good or a dying relic relic uh, so that people can click on my review if they are interested in knowing whether or not this machine is worth of a purchase. Uh, then the next step is uh, writing an introduction and don't worry I'm going to show you how I write every single step of the review. The first, second step after uh, creating a title is creating an outline. So in this case I always create an outline for my review by typing a couple of H2 headings. So basically this is an H1 heading by default in WordPress. Every subsequent heading should be H2. And if you want to separate, for example, uh, this heading main features into a, a couple of a more even smaller headings. So let's say that one of the main features uh, is uh, water tank. So you can type the feature and then you can basically click here on paragraph heading and then just turn this heading into H3. And if you want to keep on breaking down your content, uh, of course, create a new heading and simply go with H4, etc. Uh, for this purpose, uh, I created main headings, H2 headings that I want to include in my review. And I always start, as I said, with an introduction. This is a paragraph. As you can see, this is just a normal paragraph. Uh, and then I start with the overview heading. This is basically where I uh, simply uh, pull in my readers by sharing a couple of interesting things about the product in review that I found during my research. Uh, the second 
Heading is about main features. So this is where I will tell a, a couple of words about every single feature of the product in review and my opinion about it. Uh, then here is the brewing performance and milk frothing performance. So basically every product performs in some way. If you are, for example, reviewing a digital camera from Amazon, uh, I'm guessing that uh, image quality or picture quality would be performance. Uh, or if you are re reviewing, let's say, I don't know, a drone, uh, flying performance, uh, again, camera performance, uh, you uh, always can find a couple of uh, performance features about each product. And in this case, since Gaggia makes espresso and froths milk, I decided to include uh, brewing performance as the next heading and a milk frothing performance as the next heading. Uh, the readers of uh, this review are probably interested not only in the features of the machine, but how well it performs, whether or not it makes good espresso, whether or not it can uh, brew a great cup of coffee. Uh, so basically, I will write about uh, these two things as well. People want to know how to clean and maintain the product, especially when it comes to espresso machines, because uh, they uh, get dirty after every single use. So it makes uh, perfect sense that I include this uh, heading as well. Uh, and then after I go through the features and performance, I would share a couple of pros and cons and I would end usually with a conclusion and a couple of FAQs. Uh, so basically this is the article overview. Uh, so that is what I always suggest to uh, people who are interested in writing Amazon product review articles. Start with the title and then simply break down your content from the bird eyes view perspective because it's going to be easier for you to start uh, writing the entire piece after you have your main outline. And now that you have your main outline, I usually start doing the research. And this is the longest part in my opinion, but the most important part. Uh, so one of the parts of my researching process is creating a new Google document, or you can, you can also use Word or whatever, uh, type of uh, software you like to use for this purpose. And as you can see, I have my introduction here. I have my overview here. I already did research and just going to explain how I did it. Okay. I have my features here, main features. Uh, as you can see, I listed all these features such as design, build quality, boiler, water tank, porta filter, steam wand, drip tray, tamper. And I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, then I went over to brewing performance, frothing performance, cleaning and maintaining, pros and cons, and conclusion. As you can see, I have a lot of bullet points here. So what I suggest is after opening a new Word document is to simply copy and paste all your main headings into that document and then start doing your research. If you want, you can uh, literally copy and paste these uh, instructions for the introduction if you want. I always do introduction last. Uh, for some reason, I, I, I like to start with the overview of the product. I like to start then with feature, continue with feature and everything else. And then once I finish the review, it's easier for me to create an introduction and conclusion uh, after already knowing what I need to talk about. Okay. Uh, so basically, I would start with the overview. If you want to use my introduction here, I will show you how to use chat GPT to write introductions so you don't have to uh, write them on your own. In fact, I'm going to use chat GPT a little bit uh, to help me with this process. But I usually like to do everything manually because uh, Google and other search engines are in a war against AI generated content. So if you're watching videos on YouTube on how to write product reviews using AI, uh, my suggestion is to forget about it because uh, AI creates generic uh, content uh, and uh, it simply repeats the stuff that everyone else is saying uh, using the same words, the same sentences, and that is not going to get you anywhere. That's basically copy and pasting content. Uh, what I recommend is doing your own research. Uh, by following this same procedure. So let's start with the overview uh, and how I did the research for this product. So basically I would uh, 
start with Google and I will head over to Google and I will simply enter the product name and I would click on the product page website. Okay, so this is basically Gaggia Milano and this is the product page and you can find a lot of information about Gaggia Classic Pro uh, on this page about Porta filter, about uh, stainless steel body, about uh, mechanical rocker switches, about commercial Steam One. This is a great feature. Uh, basically, there is also uh, tips on how to use this machine. Uh, you can watch videos on how to use it as well. There are great images, there are reviews from users. If you want to read them, uh, you can read from the first hand experience from customers who have actually purchased this machine. Uh, so this is a great starting point for your review and you can extract important information and add it in your uh, overview as a bullet point. Uh, so basically, uh, this was my first impression that it is an impressive entry level semi automatic espresso machine. Uh, I also listed the features to help myself a little bit later. I uh, talked about uh, performance a little bit and uh, overall impression uh, with this uh, espresso machine. And then I kept on uh, listing the features. And I'm going to uh, show you other places where I extracted this information. So as I said, the product page is one of the first places that I go to when I do my research. Uh, the second place is Amazon, of course. Uh, so if you want to um, add more information to your research process, uh, Amazon is another great uh, place to get started. More or less, you will get exactly the same information from uh, manufacturers page, but it's a good place to uh, read a couple of more product reviews if you want from users, uh, get a little bit more uh, uh, granular content uh, as well. Uh, so Amazon is a second place where you can head over to do your research. The next place would be again Google, but uh, in addition to Gadget Classic Pro, simply add a review and check out the first couple of reviews that are uh, currently ranking for this product. And in this case, it's a coffee blog here and uh, the coffee chronicle blog as well. And the next step in my research process uh, is uh, reading these reviews. So I want to know what other reviewers uh, have found about this machine, whether or not we share opinion and whether or not I can actually enrich my own review and my own opinion about Gadgia by reading their own review. I never allow myself uh, to for these to these uh, I never allow these reviews to influence my own opinion, uh, but they are helpful during uh, my own research. And the next place would be YouTube as well. You can find a lot of useful information about products that you want to review on YouTube by watching these videos. Uh, once you have all the information, you can start adding these bullet points here uh, under each uh, heading. Uh, and once you create enough bullet points, uh, you have a great starting place for writing your review. As you can see, I have completed everything here. Uh, it's 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 gonna take too long to explain uh, the process how I found every single thing about every single heading, uh, and I assume that uh, this. Uh, part of the process is uh, on your own. So basically, you will have to do it on your own. Uh, there is no way uh, of me to tell you uh, how exactly you need to do this part. As I said, I showed you I entered these headings and then I simply did my research and I uh, added these bullet points here in the sheet together with pros and cons and a couple of words that I want to mention in conclusion. So this is basically a brainstorming part of your review where you add things into your uh, draft article, so to speak. And once you have the uh, all the information from your research, you can start simply writing your content back in the WordPress or you can simply write it here and then copy and paste it back in WordPress. Uh, so the next step is creating actual content. Now, if you are a lazy person, if you don't like writing, uh, I can show you how to leverage chat GPT to help you write this content uh, using these bullet points. Uh, so basically, uh, let's say that uh, I want to turn these instructions here into a piece of content, I would copy these instructions. Uh, and I'm going to show you I already did that. Uh, so basically, 
This is the instruction that I gave to chat GPT, right? Introduction from for Gadgia classic pro review article using the guidelines below. And I simply pasted these guidelines and I hit the submit button. And this is what uh, chat GPT wrote. And it's actually quite an interesting introduction. As you can see, I wanted 100 to 200 words. I wanted chat GPT to include my main keyword in the first sentence. Uh, I wanted it to be cool and establish trust and expertise throughout the text. I wanted to write in the first person. So uh, today I am thrilled to dive into the world espresso with you. So basically, I, I believe this type of content performs better. And I wanted it to use a basic English. And this is it. This is my introduction. So what you can do simply is copy it and paste it here. And there you go. Now you have the introduction. Uh, for your review article and the same goes with the or for the overview you can take the entire bullet point list here so you can copy everything and you can head over to chat GPT and you can give it an instruction to turn bullet points into full sentences and paragraphs about Gadgia classic pro espresso machine so I pasted everything here and this is what I got from ChatGPT. So this is basically my overview. So you can copy it and you can paste it here. And this is my overview, okay? And you can keep on doing the same for every other part of the review. So if you wanna turn these features into the text instead of bullet points, head over to ChatGPT and ask it to turn these bullet points into full sentences about Gadget Classic Pro Espresso Machine or whatever product it is in your review. And after you do that for every single heading here, the last one is FAQs. Okay, so once you have conclusion and everything else, the last part of my review process is adding a couple of FAQs. And for this, I always use ChatGPT. Uh, sometimes I would write these bullet points. I would turn them into sentences on my own. Sometimes if I want to speed up the process, I leverage chat GPT. And at the end, I would like to add a couple of FAQs. And I always use chat GPT for this because this is just a generic part of my content. And uh, my question is always the same. What are the most frequently asked questions about? And then I would add a product. And here is what chat GPT has to say. How do I prime the Gadget Classic Pro? What grind size should I use? How do I clean and maintain? What is Why is my espresso sour bitter weak? I wouldn't use this one. Can I use pods with Gadget Classic Pro? This is one, this is a good one. What accessories are compatible? I would actually uh, use a couple of these questions. So I would add the first one, the second one, the third one, the fifth one, and the sixth one. Five is more than enough. I would simply copy and paste these questions uh, literally like this into my review. And uh, I would edit them a little bit. So I don't want this to be bullet point. I want it actually to be text. And I'm a little bit stuck now because I don't know how to change it. Doesn't mind. Doesn't matter. I can simply delete it. I can cut it. And I can just do this. Anyway. Anyhow, I messed it up. Doesn't matter. You can uh, do that uh, in a uh, uh, separate document and then simply paste it to your uh, WordPress area. And after I finish the content, then it is time to add images and tables. And that is the topic for another video. So basically, uh, the topic of this video is how to write uh, articles and basically I showed you how I write article review article Amazon review article for my review websites now then once you have completed the text it is time to add these images and add these tables with pros and cons and your affiliate links as well and if you would like to learn more on how to complete the entire process uh, and uh, do everything from scratch once again I invite you to check out my free affiliate marketing business course by clicking the link in the description of the video. Inside this free training program, I will teach you step by step how to get started with Amazon affiliate marketing and the main content focus is on 
writing Amazon product reviews. So make sure to subscribe to my free training uh, to learn more. And thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope it's been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and I'll see you some other time. Peace.